Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Just kind of waiting for the wind to die down. It's Saturday, May 29th. We got here last night. Uh, it was blowing pretty good all day yesterday and it's starting to subside a little bit. I think we got about, I don't know, 15 mile an hour winds right now and it's dropping to 10, 9, 8 for the evening. So hoping to get out this evening. If not, for sure tomorrow looks really good. Um, just a light breeze, um, one, two, three mile an hour and uh, a little bit overcast tomorrow. So we're excited for that at, at least. Um, if we do get out tonight, we're going to run, um, I think we're going to run two divers aside um, and then one board per side. Um, just kind of hard to run the boards and the waves, so i um, going to go after it that way and see what happens. It's a little tough with only two guys, you're kind of limited, but um, we got a spread of salmon candy flashers and flies out, and then we're going to run a co dodger on a, on a five color, and we're going to run a spoon up high as well, so see what happens there. If um, we start to get some action on one or another, we'll switch it up and run everything in the same column. Um, so they've been getting some kings down here apparently before the wind, so hopefully there's still some around and we can uh, get on them. All right, it's about four o'clock now. The winds have died substantially. We're gonna head out and see what happens for the last you know, four or five hours of daylight. Um, the wind seemed to switch a little bit and definitely died off, so I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna be out there just fine. Maybe a little bit bumpy, but we'll be fine. I think we're gonna run about two and a half, three miles um, straight east and see if we can't hit 100 feet of water and then um, we'll start trolling from there and just try to find a good temp. We'll run, the, run our fish hawk down and see if we can't find that, that magical mid 40s um, seam of water out there somewhere. So we're gonna hopefully run into a couple tonight and then for sure tomorrow looks like great weather. So. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. What's that? Dodger. Dodger. We're going about 2-2 two, two at the surface, 2-0 oh down at the ball. 48 up top and about 45. This is a steel or something. 45 2 down below. We're at 160 feet of water. Nice. The day sun, steelhead, coho dodger. It's awesome. First time fishing this port, and I don't know what's been 30 minutes, and yeah. got a steelhead, so that's sweet. I was just, I was literally just starting to think. Okay. Diver, thank God. That's all I got. Keep going. That's all I got. Nice. Took another nice cool hole on a. That's a kryptonite salmon candy with a. Uh, it's got a no mercy fly on it. So they're hitting on just about everything. Actually, that's two. That's the kryptonite and the Megatron. So it's the the green and the blue version. There's one. Here we go. Oh, that's a A good mix tonight. That's that's two fish now. One steelhead, one nice coho on a orange coho dodger and a um, salmon candy little Mardi Gras um, peanut fly. We got one on a Megatron flasher with a illumination fly. 
we got at least two rips on the poor Brad standard size salmon candy spoon. And uh, pretty sure there's gonna be more to come here. is kind of 45 degrees everywhere from pretty much the surface down to 100 feet. We were like, let's just throw the dipsies down a little bit. I think you brought it up a little bit when this one hit, but we were just adjusting it and this king just smoked it. <laughs> this is a good fish. For sure the biggest fish we've had on today. He's 230 out still. Oh, farboard, 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 farboard. That's a good one too. Oh yeah. Doubled up, Torn's got a nice king on. It ain't a small king either. Man. No, I know. This ain't a 10 pounder, this is a 15. Just making sure we're good up here. Took that king. Blue stud. Mercy. UV fly. Crank that dipsy. Nice big king. <sighs> well, this is what we've been looking for right here. The mighty king salmon. Been catching cohos and rainbows all day. Um, I think we were like five for nine or five for ten and you know right at last light this king just smoked uh dipsy about 60 back or 60 down i should say just pulling lines for the night uh, i think we ended up 
seven. Seven for 11, six coals, one rainbow, one 15 pound king. Um, we lost one maybe two year old king and then another couple nice coals for sure. So overall pretty good night. Pretty, pretty much everything, everything we had in the water got hit today. So awesome night. Tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful weather. Sort of come out here to a similar area. Hopefully do it again. Trolling for about 15 minutes. We started about 90 feet of water. We're kind of angling out southwest. We're in about 100 right now. Steelhead. First one of the day, 4:30 a.m. Co Dodger on a five color. Let's stick one.
Yeah, baby. Yeah, and you feel like you like, watch that. Yeah, that wire. There's no stretch. You got nothing. Oh, baby. It's a kryptonite. We flat. found a little. Uh, I think we found a little spot here. Kryptonite with a no mercy fly. Sorry. What? Oh, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> I lost mine. No, you didn't. He's running out, yeah. I lost mine. Damn. Oh, man, that thing got cranked, dude. Dude, I'm surprised. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Wait. Ooh. laughs> Letting this diver back out. We got smacked. We got a double. I think this might be another king. That was a triple, bud. Chaos. Last chaos. Then it's pursuit one. Big steely. A steelhead. You gotta set it down in the handle, you gotta set it down the handle. We'll get her. Get in there. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, baby! Get in the boat! Yep! Woo! That's another 15. Nice, that's bigger than that. <laughs> Oh boy! Woo! Yeah! Rolling! We're frickin' rolling. Kryptonite flasher blade. No mercy fly. A smoked. Seven, 16, 17 pound king, I'd say. Um, missed two on that rod while we were bringing it in. King smashed it and then we are. Andrew was letting it back out and a steel had smoked it. I don't know, six pounder, something like yeah. that. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome morning. There's a nice king. Yeah, definitely 16, 17 pounds in that range. Had a bit of a lull here since that last king landed. Whipped around, came back through the hot zone, didn't hit nothing. Changed my trolling angle a little bit here. We're heading kind of on a almost straight east troll. Um, let's say we got a coho here, a pie. Another nice coho.
a nice call. I think we're six for six for eight this morning. One nice king, couple steelhead, and three coho. I'm just letting this one leak out. Um, trying to get a little deeper. And it smacked once and I slowed it down a little bit with my thumb and it must have been following it because it hit it again right away. This would have been on a kryptonite again with that no mercy and it was, I was just touching 180 back when it hit. So I'm thinking she's down there around that. 85 foot range. You got it. You got it. There we go. That's the way to do it. Just yeah. drop the rod and hand line it. Holy chunky. Nice big lake in there. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. A solid one. Third trip of the weekend. We did a last evening. We did fairly well. I think we went seven for eleven. Um, good mix of cohos, a um, couple of rainbows, and then uh, one mature king. Um, this morning we went seven for ten. Same with a mix of rainbows and cohos. Um, one mature king and one one big uh, twelve pound lake or so. Um, we're gonna go out tonight and just focus on. Um, getting some big king bites. We got enough fish, um, so we're just gonna see if we can't go out and and run a, a big king program. We're gonna run a meat rig on a wire diver. Um, we're gonna run another um, wire diver with a flasher fly on it down low. Then we're gonna run a couple couple high divers with flasher and flies on them, as well as a 250 copper and uh, a pump handle. So just gonna target those big bites. Um, try to avoid the coho and, and steelhead for now. Um, and see what happens. Like I said, we're just gonna see if we can't get one big bite. Right now, I'm rigging up a Hulk UV meat rig um, from Sam and Candy on Dreamweaver Spin Doctor. I think it's like a some type of frog, UV frog with a glow back. So, see if that can go. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go in the same area we've been fishing. We, we know there's some kings in the area. We had a double earlier and lost one, and a couple other king rips. So, um, hopefully, we can run into a run into a couple four-year-olds. <laughs> we just started trolling, we just got set up. Um, we just had a meat rig go. And not three minutes later, as we're messing with that, trying to get it, trying to get it reset, this one just went. This is that kryptonite again. Yeah, baby. That's all fucked up. 
Nice king, been trolling for about 10 minutes this evening, had two rips right in a row. Missed the first one on a meat rig, just landed this nice one on a kryptonite with a no mercy fly. That's been going all weekend for us pretty good. Awesome. So we're just getting in from the evening fish. Um, right away, five minutes after we got line set, we had uh, two rips, one on a meat rig and one on a um, flasher fly, both on wire divers. Landed the one on the flasher. Um, it's a nice 11 pound, 11 and a half pounder. Um, nothing else the rest of the night though. I think we had some a tangled diver most of the time we didn't know about, which might have um, factored into that, but um, Either way, we're gonna probably go out tomorrow morning just for a few hours. We have to get heading back home, but we're gonna see if we can't go out and get a couple kings first thing in the morning. Um, and then in a couple weeks, we're coming back here for the Sheboygan Salmon Cup. So um, hopefully, we can um, you know carry over this week how we did into that tournament because we did fairly well, I think, for coming down here for the first time. So. Hopefully we get a couple more in the morning, and if not, uh, we'll be back here for the tournament. Degree surface temp 132 feet. Ball temp. Every time I, when I gain on him, it feels me. Exactly. <laughs> Man, I think this might be a good fish. I haven't gained on him at all. Exactly outside of where we're marking all that bait. One of these divers are going to go in like four seconds. Hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> drag, drag. I got it. <laughs> That's a pump handle going 111.
just working on a double kings here. Um, I had a hammer time flasher with a no mercy fly go on a 250 copper. And then Torrance got a uh, Megatron with a mercy fly. It was on a pump handle. If you can. Here's first one of the double. That's gotta be a 20. We'll get him weight on him here a little bit. We'll get to land this other fish first. Awesome. Mean runs 250 copper. So I don't know if it's something to do with this this kind of crushed ice back that all these flashers have, but Kryptonite's been going, Megatron's been going, and this hammer time, they've all got this kind of crystally back. Sam's Pro Elise, mag board. We're just like it was supposed to, snapped it real quick. It wasn't tripped right away, but I gave it a quick snap and it pulled right off. <sighs> We've got a nice 20 pound king on the other end here. Yeah, man. Get that thing in here. Another one. <laughs> oh my God. Holy. That's unreal. Oh. Just finished off. Landing this double kings this morning, it's like 6.15. Um, we hadn't been trolling for 15, 20 minutes and we hit these. One on a 250 copper, one on a pump handle setup. Both on salmon candy flashers and flies. Awesome, awesome trip. This will finish off our possession limit for the weekend and we're gonna head home. It's Memorial, Memorial Day Monday and what a way to end it. Two big kings.